PLS CAD can be used to calculate the clearances between the phases of the same circuit or different circuits of an entire transmission line and then one to command. In this example, we have a transmission line that's a little over 5 miles long, 115 kV with a distribution underbuild. And we'll use this to calculate the clearances along the phases. So let's go to lines, reports, wire clearances. Then we're going to go from structure 1 to structure 89. If we wanted to do other parts of the line, we could. We're going to go from uh, 212 degrees F after creep underneath a 115 kV. And we're going to check that too are 212 degrees F after creep underneath our 115 kV. So we'll be doing this a phase-to-phase -phase check within the 115 kV circuits. Uh, we're not going to require any kind of increase in mid-span. If we wanted to use the ESC increase, we could certainly add that in here. And we're going to say that we need 8 foot of clearance between the 115 kV phases on the same circuit as well as on separate circuits. We'll drop some markers and we'll create a report as well. And we'll only show violations. Click OK. And in a few seconds, it'll check the 115 kV clearances on the entire transmission line. We have a report, and we can see that we do have one clearance problem between structures 36 and 37. So we'll look at that in 3D view. And we can kind of see a red mark right here in our 3D. We'll start zooming in. And we can see where that three dimension, that clearance is between the 115 kV circuits. And we did a unique rolling from the delta configuration into the vertical configuration to illustrate how we can find that minimum clearance. So in this particular case, we do have a violation. We need to do some modifications or switch the phases in order to eliminate uh, the minimum 8-foot requirement that we have between the 115 kV circuits. Backing out to our entire three-dimensional view again, we'll re-zoom in on this particular area. And we can see that we have our distribution underbill, which visually looks like it's getting kind of close here. We also have a, a, trans a distribution crossing underneath our transmission line in this particular area. So let's run this report again to find out if we have any clearance violations between our 115 kV transmission and our 12.5 kV distribution underbuild and crossing. So we'll go to Reports, Wire Clearances, and we'll go at 212, 115, and we'll go from our 32 degree F condition uh, on our 12.5 kV circuit. After creep, uh, in the interest of time, we'll leave it at 8 feet of clearance between, between the uh, 115 and the 12 kV, and we'll leave all the reports the same way. Click OK, and in about a second per mile, we will have an entire clearance check of all the phases, and we can slide down this and see that we do have some clearance problems, and they all occur between 37 and 41 uh, structure numbers, as we figured. We'll close out that report and graphically look at that again. And we can see we have a couple of them here. Looking out here in mid-span of this between 37 and 38, we can see that's where the clearance problems are. So we have our 5.73 from our lower phase to the inside of our distribution, 6.66. Backing back out a little bit, we can move over here. And in our distribution crossing that we have going underneath this line, we can see that in this particular area right here, we have 6.15 minimum clearance between the lowest phase and this particular circuit of our distribution crossing. So it's very easy in PLS CAD to look at an entire project under one approach and find very quickly the clearance violations and do what modifications are required to eliminate those problems.